One question evangelicals are known to ask is this. Do you have a personal relationship with God? Yes. And it's a good question. What they mean is, do you truly know God or do you have a dead religion? And evangelicalism has swung so far into emotionalism and anti-intellectualism and anti-confessionalism uh, and all of those things that in a rage of resentment, we despise everything our evangelical fathers taught us. But this is a mistake. Do you have a personal relationship with God is a good question. It's a question that can truly prompt someone to seek God and not merely on an intellectual level. And you can even turn it on what evangelicalism has become and to seek God not merely on an emotional level, but in a true whole person levels that enters into reality and the God of that reality. I once heard a retort to this question that I thought was great and I shall share it with you. Everyone has a personal relationship with God. God either personally hates you or personally loves you. There is no escaping a personal relationship with God. Every person is either a personal enemy of God or a personal friend of God. God's soul hates the sinner, the Psalms say. God's soul loves the penitent. God will personally judge every sinner, which is all of us. All men stand condemned and judged before God. All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And every sin we have committed will be paid back to us. As Jeremiah says, for the Lord is a God of retribution. He will fully repay. Judgment is coming for us all. But a judgment of retribution, a judgment that pays us back for what we've done, for those who have faith in Christ, this has been fully paid for by Jesus on the cross. Amen. He bore your sins, all of them, fully paid for by Christ's broken body and his spilled blood. And this is love. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. We are justified by his blood. Through Christ's sacrifice and faith in him, we are transposed from a personal relationship that is adversarial with God to a personal relationship that is at peace with God. So come and welcome to Jesus Christ.